Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Sevtech. I uh, did a few things off screen. Oops. Um, mostly I just rearranged the base, and as such, my inventory is all messed up. Um, put a few more of these well storage doors in for common things like dirt and stuff, gravel, the two types of sticks, and all that, and then bones and stuff from the mob farm I was emptying out of here. And then this crate is connected to my trash drawer, my trash void. So I have that there. And then the main thing I did was I completely organized this area over here. Right, I got my saw, my turntable, and I found out this millstone can be worked from the bottom as I was moving it. I noticed it had a thing on the bottom, which is funny because I tried to make the quartz grindstone work, but it doesn't work off mechanical power. But this one does have that hole in the bottom. I remember I think I tried the millstone from the top where the hole is for the handle, but it didn't work. But yeah, I just have this sort of split up in there, and then this is just a crate of just spare parts I'd made to keep going. And apparently, you know, I forgot that the axles are the one of the more annoying things I have to make. But yeah, I have it all here so it can turn on and off with this lever right now. Um, I don't have redstone, so I can't do it any further away it has to be right there and I got the hoppers all around this and it works pretty well and I tested it on cobblestone that I had and it made stone rods which don't really do much um, they just make ladders right now and stone torches I don't know if there's a particular point to stone torches other than aesthetics um, but whatever uh, but the stone ladders I mean I guess they don't burn maybe I don't know I never used them in dragons World of Dragons, but I never really got a chance to test any of that out. And then this is just the basement I spread out a little bit. I'm going to eventually get rid of my bed and all that down here. Because it's just not a very good place for it. But I got rid of the bushes too, because I thought it was expanding over there a little bit. Um, but as you find a saw when I just pushed E. Oh, and I also did this. Oops. Um, where is it? Oh, right here. I have a second chest with the common items like wood and stuff feeding into a hopper, feeding into this chest, so that as I use oak wood and planks, it'll refill it without taking up all this. Unfortunately, I thought this thing could pull from multiple chests, but if I have a second chest here, it only pulls from that chest. If it pulls from here, it does there. So I think it's like, it pulls this direction, and then it goes like clockwise, and whatever's one in there, it pulls there first and nothing else. So, I don't know. I thought you used to be able to pull up from multiple sides of the crafting table, but I guess not. But yeah, I did that. And mostly just quality of life changes. I need to fix my smeltery and all that stuff later. But I did something that I didn't want to do when the series started, which was look something up on a, like a video and full thing. I, I've looked up things on Wikipedia a couple times just to get like where the corollary gems and stuff were because nothing in game told you. But I was looking up the stoked kiln and the bellows and stuff, right? So I was having no... Uh, uh, ability to make a stoke cauldron and all that. I mean, I have the cauldron, but I was unable to do anything with it. And I found out that two things. One, um, the bellows, you know, I made, they do go in there, but they need a repeating redstone signal. So you do that as a flip a switch constantly, or you need a redstone clock, which unfortunately I don't have redstone. I mean, it's available. I guess, but I've never seen it in the world, so I don't know where you get it. I think you need stage three, I guess. And same with the redstone. I need a redstone clock and all that. Um, these are the best things I so can do right now. Just run through this over and over again. But um, yeah, I don't have a redstone. And also, I need a hibachi. And I don't have that yet. So I'm thinking I have to wait to stage 3 to get the stoke stuff. Even though it's available, the bellows and all that are available now, which is annoying. And then I also looked up Twilight Forest and how to make a portal there. It doesn't tell you anywhere in here, so that's annoying. Um, I don't know if I need it per se yet. But it seems like a lot of these things take Twilight stuff. And I don't see how I can get that without going to Twilight Forest. But one thing I did notice too was um, I was looking around in the invitation 
uh, building list and this constellation paper is a recipe. So I need an altar with feathers, parchment, stardust, which I don't really have a lot of. I found one or two in the between lands, I think. And that's it. So you make these, I guess. You don't find them. And I need a big pillars and all that stuff. So I need a full setup, which I can't do without light walls. But yeah. But one thing I did notice that's really interesting is I have access to a lot of hoppers now that I didn't have before. The vanilla hopper that I've not made one yet, which is just iron plates, gear, and a chest. It's a bronze gear, though. I don't know if I have any of those. Oh, I forgot. I have two chest cat plate casts for some reason. Right. Can I melt that down again? I'm curious. Can't molt in it. So yeah, I don't know what you do with these if you mess one up and have more than you need. Casting. Yeah. Wow. I should probably just trash it then. <clears throat> Try my trash thing. But, um, yeah, so let's get a gear. And we'll make some bronze gears. Because you can do a lot of cool things with these hoppers. Um, let's see. Bronze. You have to click on it to make it be at the bottom. Oops. Uh, Okay, well those are going. We'll add some more. Um, yeah, so let's get a couple. Oops. For some reason I'm having trouble looking in the right direction today. Seems like my point of view is closer to normal, I don't know. Uh get some iron ignits. Oh we need iron plates actually. We're gonna need a lot more of those if uh this becomes a thing. Um there's not really much of a reason to use regular hoppers yet. Except for they do take redstone. But I have regular hoppers. I have liquid hoppers, which are awesome. Because they take liquids from tanks and stuff. Even a bucket. And put it into things. <coughs> which I need. I could really use sometimes. But, um. That's just the between lens hopper. That's basically the same. And then the upside down hopper. The upper. And it takes items from below it and put it up. That is really useful. And it's just... Doing the recipe upside down if you're making one straight up, or you just put a hopper in there and it'll turn it upside down. So that's really nice. And you can reverse it, so that's nice. But, so if we do this, we'll make two of these, and I don't know why those arrows always get put in there. So we got two hoppers. We. Don't need an upper or a hopper for anything specific right now that I can think of. Although it would have been nice previously. But we could use a liquid hopper. Which is just this around. Oops. That's not good. But it's nice to see this old familiar thing. Um, let's get a pick. Because if I'm right, you can't break those without destroying them if you don't have a pickaxe. So the local with <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I don't game. Just something stuck in my throat. Um the liquid hopper, yeah, it's just glass and a hopper. Which is nice. And I'm gonna make two of them, my both of my hoppers. Because I want two things. One, I want one over here. It's going to feed into this trash thing. Um, I guess it's redstone control too. Um, and then I'm going to put a tank. Um, make another sear tank.
It only holds. Well, actually, we can just make a. We can just take a barrel. Let's see how this works. Um. Yeah, this is the one that <clears throat> I moved. I don't know why. Suddenly, I can't. There we go. Couldn't pick it up. So there, it's draining it. Yeah, that's awesome. So now, ooh, the only problem with this is can't put hot liquids in that. That's cool. But we don't need to wait because if you destroy it, it gets rid of it all, which is unfortunate. I don't really have a lot of use for these, all these barrels anymore, to be honest. But I'm just keeping them. Um, yeah, I cleared out the cart too and put it in the chest over there for the same reason. It's it was really cool, I thought, but it actually made it harder. Um, you know. So porcelain barrels, clay barrels, yeah. <clears throat> I should have some of these somewhere, but I don't know. Hmm. Oh, the unfired is one of the recipe. Okay. Yeah, I was like, why can't I make that? There we go. I think that that was broken because I, I took that all apart to try to make the stoke kiln which is something else I learned I learned the multi-block to make a kiln but I don't know if it'll work yet and there's no point because I don't have a hibachi <clears throat> okay yeah over here so let's get a bucket and let's get um do we have any excess buckets of ground junk? I messed up one. No, I got rid of it all. It's kind of a waste, but let's go get some lava. To just trash it and all, but I'm gonna double check this all works, you know. As you can see, my lava source is sort of depleting. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it doesn't regenerate. Speaking of you know, other than the hoppers and all that, I was thinking it might be a good idea to uh, try the nether now. Um, like I said, there's no advancement saying to go there, which is kind of weird. But I have access to lava. And it's going away. There we go. Yeah, so it works. My trash for items and then for things work. Okay, so my second liquid hopper... I don't have a specific need for it yet, um, but I'm going to use it over here. And so, like I said, unfortunately, actually, let's get. Oh yeah, that reminds me, um, I found out what was wrong with my farming. You gotta put dirt in here to make purified dirt to farm with. So that would be an advancement to be honest. That's why I didn't pick it up earlier. So I noticed that in the uh, advancement tab for, oops. Not sure why I face down. There we go. And now, unfortunately, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think it'll pull from the top one at all. <clears throat> Swamp dirt. You know, I just need more sulfur. Yeah, but unfortunately I gotta do this. Or use a second. Wow, that holds a lot of water. 
Oh, the hopper part holds too. Okay. 16,000 buckets of water. Wow. Or 16 buckets. I guess that's a filter. Um. <clears throat> okay, liquid hopper switch a hopper. You can use to transfer liquids like omnidirectional hopper. It's omnidirectional. Hmm. Oh, you can even leave some in there to filter. That's awesome. Okay. Upgrades. Speed upgrades. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I don't have, I don't think I've access to the upgrades yet. No. So, we can get rid of this for here because there's no point if it doesn't draw from it. But here <clears throat> um, let's get these out. There we go. Fill these up. I don't know why I was suddenly taking water away, but oh well. Wow, that takes a lot. Okay, yeah, so that's finally full. There we go. So that's a lot of water. That should run that purifier for a long time. Um, let's leave a bucket here. Really, we'll leave this bucket because I can make the tonic if I need it. But now we got swamp dirt that's purified. We can try it over here in our little test farm. Um, purified swamp dirt. And I think I moved this up here, yeah. Oh, I'm going to put the seeds in here, I think. I see that's the one starter I found on the surface. It was like the rock sample or whatever. So yeah, I do need a hoe. I wasn't sure, because there's no between lands hoe. Or not. Okay, so let's uh, look at that advancement again. Um, so it was under farmer. Maybe he's under crafted. No. So, compost. Oh, I need to make a composter, maybe. So I got that, I think. Compost your soil. So, compost. So this is the one I made out here, but that's actually additions one. I need a compost bin, which is weed wood planks and that ore stuff, which do I have any in my bag still? I got some, yeah. And then weed wood? No. I don't know why I always have jungle wood planks in my inventory. Weed wood logs, right? Well, it's pitstone. So it was in the wood chest. I don't remember where it is. Yeah.
weed wood planks replace some of the charcoal okay let's make this compost bin now so let's see how this works almost everything from between lens says compostable so we'll just be ready for now that's not pretty um let's uh go over here to the compost stuff or the bin so the ropes are but we don't want to the tangled roots because they don't have any other uses i don't think ground tangle roots but those just make compost too so yeah let's do these oh wow you open and close the top fortunately I can't seem to and it doesn't work unless you have a close that's pretty funny I like that I like that a lot. I'm not sure how long it takes to do anything. Actually, I could check. Um, use compost. Oh, it doesn't have a time up here. Oh, six minutes and 40 seconds. Wow. It's a long time. Um, put that up there for now. Put our seeds up there. This is going to be a little while. Where are these? Oops. Put in the iron plates. Still working this up. Okay, so, um. That's a thing we're going to have to wait for. But the only thing I can think of is I haven't defeated any Endermen in the normal world. I've always done it in the fighting world. So that's why I don't have that advancement. But yeah, other than that, I'm pretty much stuck until I get rock crystals. I could make some of these useless advancements, but I don't think they matter. So, I'm going to see if this works. Like I said, I looked up the Twilight Portal stuff, and I don't know if it's... Well, I can't do it because I don't have the Ignit to start it, but no, I can't do it. You need like a Starlight Ignit, which means I need a working Luminous Crafting Table, which means I need Rock Crystals. So I'm pretty much utterly stuck until I get Rock Crystals. Um, put that there. Let's fix our inventory. Get rid of the hoe. Oh, that's one thing I can do. Um, there's new wands. Uh, new, there's iron wands now. Okay, so let's let's fix this, and then we'll go back to uh, exploring dirt. Cobblestone. I really wish I had drawer control where I could just click and take that amount of whole inventory. Um yeah, so put this over here too, I guess, for now. Wow, I got a lot of junk. Sulfur, we need that. Our seeds. Swamp reeds, yeah, let's do it. Well, we don't need that many buckets, to be honest, but whatever. So, we put the sulfur in our little thing over here. Get that going. I don't know if anything else can be put down there. A better resource. Get that. Merge. 
Where are those? You know they don't belong in there. Oh yeah, these go in there. But yeah, if we go over here, we can make iron wands now. I don't know if these, um, what's oh, a plate? I don't know if these, um, let you build vertically. The stone ones only let you build horizontally. No. Same with, so we compare the two. So, um, let's see. Where's a good place to compare it? Right here? Oh, I don't have any in my inventory. That's stupid. And we'll just get a bunch of those. So a stone wand. Hmm. Watch I don't have a large amount of cobblestone set up. So stone does the full five. Whenever it doesn't go further. And the iron wand goes probably further but I can't really test it but um unfortunately they don't go vertically which is weird I didn't remember I don't know if that's something that's unique to this mod pack but I thought they went vertically normally even before you got to the diamond wand levels But we can get rid of one of them. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll actually get rid of both of them. We're not going to be building anytime soon. And our hoe and our watering can. Because we're going to go back out and we might run into some nasty nasties. Unfortunately, our gear is still half broken. We're almost out of arrows too. Like all of our arrows are pretty broken. I mean we got a whole stack of other arrows to use but I don't want to use too many different arrows I don't have to. Because I just take up my whole inventory. Oops. We need slime sling which what did I do with it I think I put it in the this the base oh, there we go in our food oh yeah we need to uh, our map. So, we want to go north. Of course, we got to go through here first. That was west. Completely the wrong direction. Oh, those white things are new. Ooh. Piranha things or angulars. Oh, there's some cobblestone down there. You know, I think this water causes decay faster. This is deep. Not a good idea to be doing this on the bottom of the ocean. I'm gonna drown. Luckily I have a lot of uh, nutrition. Okay, this looks different. 
It's like a wisp just sitting there in the middle of nothing. Huh. Wow. I thought this was land, but it's just moss. That's cool. Go lurker. I need to find some land. Okay, I'm in trouble. I can't see anything. Can't find any land. I'm nowhere near where I want to be. So this place just has wisps floating in the middle of nowhere. I thought they were more recent, rare resource than that. Still not found a reason to use them other than a light source that looks really, really cool. Okay, so we finally got on a land. And it's super dark again. Super, super dark. I haven't changed my brightness down. This area is just dark, dark. Okay. Wow, there's, wow, there's some, some sort of terrain, terrain difference, difference over there. Over there. Like cliffs. Like cliff. I was trying to go back to the tower because I remember seeing something over there, but I guess I can make it from here too. Okay, so we're going to do the super dangerous thing of jumping backwards once we eat. Oh, and we need some of these. And I think this plant tonic just cures plants. Yeah, so I could probably get to a dead tree or something and fix that, but I thought it cured me. Balls of sap. Okay, so face the right way. Oops. We make, it? we make it? No. no. I, swear I swear this thing, thing looks, looks like land, land on the map. The map. Yeah. That, was cool. that was cool. Okay, so. Okay, so. okay this land. land. And water. And water. And it is, it is so, dark. so dark. Obviously, Obviously these whiffs, whiffs don't, don't really provide light. light. Wow, yeah, wow, I can't yeah, see I can't anything see over, here. over here. Options. Video. Video. Brightness? Brightness? Yeah, it's yeah, still pretty high. Pretty high. Wow. wow, this is just a really dark area. And there's some fire over here. That's some big wood. Whoa, yeah, so that's a big tree. Let's, um, the exploration? Find a giant weed wood tree, okay. So yeah, we're obviously gonna have to get some of this. Wish it was daytime so I can actually see the thing though. And I'm really curious what's calling us losing all these fires. Do these wisps cause fires? I love how it's just walk off into swamps, sort of like uh, the bog at uh, Lord of the Rings. Pete, okay. Um,
So we can get Pete. Do I have Pete? Uses. Eh, it burns. I guess that's about the main point of it. Why am I so slow? I was in mud, I guess. Wow, this is bad. Better off in the water. Seems to be pretty rare over here. Let's go back to our tree. Also, getting rid of the only sources of lights around here. Those mushrooms that gave light aren't around here, I noticed. So we got the hangers. I need flight or something. Yeah, it's just the top one piece every once in a while is Pete. So, how are we going to get up there? Because we need leaves to potentially get a giant one of these. Whoa, whoa. Is that because I hit the tree? Well, if he's angry about me hitting the tree, he set it on fire. Although, I gotta be honest, it's not spreading. Ah, oh, you can't get me. I'm in the water. It's a pretty cool death animation, I gotta say. So I guess those guys spawn here. I was curious in that tower, I haven't seen him anywhere. Shell fungus. Okay, that picks it up. And does it do anything? It burns very badly. Okay, let's uh, put that down and continue up our little... Let's see if there's anything in the middle. I'm curious. I gotta say, if this was early in the game, this would make an awesome base, just living out of a tree like this. I thought the other ones were cool, and that you could build a base on the top, like a really awesome treehouse. But this, this definitely makes it a base awesome. So no, there's nothing in the center, at least not down here. Nothing in the gooey center. Um, I am slightly curious. I wish it was daytime so you could see better. If, um, if um, you can grow these grow by these putting a couple of them next, next to each other or something. something. We're running out of fungus. I'm just building a stairway up in the center of the tree. Of course, the downside of having a base in this, as cool as it would be, is um, obviously <laughs> worrying about setting your whole entire base on fire. You'd have to put everything that could burn, at least, in a basement underground. Look at this. Yes, I'm really good at using my tools, but I can't upgrade them because I don't have upgrades. So I can never get to stage three. So I need rock crystals. And of course, rock crystals weren't any of those things I got out of those chests in that tower. Apparently there's a, like a random table and some of the things are pretty rare. But what I got was mostly octane and stuff. I mean, nothing bad, it's just mostly food. Okay. 
green dentist. I guess there is something in the center of the tree. Ooh, I didn't pick it up. Oh, I have a full inventory. Okay. That's that's a thing. How do I get sulfur? Oh, those people. Uses maybe? Oh, there we go. Uh, vials. Shield, nickel box, splash potions. And it makes something. Um, big or whatever. Make glass. What glass? Let's uh, keep our inventory a little cleaner. White pear seeds. That's awesome. I got pears. And a weed wood sapling. I don't know if that came from before or something I had in my inventory. Rotten food, we don't need. Okay, so that's decently cleared out. That was funny how it was just in the middle of this tree. And it was just like one in a random spot. Oops. Mess that up. Hmm. There we go. Hopefully I didn't mess up the head part of the other one. And I'm officially out of funguses. Environmentalist. What's that? Chop down a lot of trees? Herbalist. Miner. Farmer. Craftsman. Adventurer, maybe? Get a pure ad hangry by hitting his tree. Oh, I did that a while ago. So they do come from hitting this tree. Luckily, I'm on the inside, and he's just burning his own tree now. Oh, sucks to be you, mister. Oh, well, that's kind of... hurt. Okay, let's um, continue up. Cause our little this is just an awesome tree, I gotta say. I'm actually a little surprised that I haven't run across that pyro guy yet. I thought he'd be homing in on me. But yeah, I, I fought that first one. I thought that would have counted. Um. Let's see. I have regular torches, they don't work. You have some. Oh, those are sulfur torches. Guess not. Um, wow. I have no light sources. I noticed the totemic torches work in this dimension. Which, if you want, would be way easier than the sulfur torches. Uh, backpack. backpack. Let's see if I have, have any of this one. one. No, nope, just regular torches. Oh well. Oh well. I'll have to I'll be, be in the dark. dark. Really dark, actually. Weed wood leaves. I'm. I'm confused. Why is it so dark here? Come on, Mr. Set your tree on fire so I can see. Okay, this is kind of ridiculous. I was lighting this up so I didn't get monsters spawning in here. 
But I'm going to have to steal some of these. Because I need the seed. So yeah, this looks like I just get regular, um... Baffling's from this tree. I thought maybe I could get a super tree. Can't see it even push down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I gotta keep it with me. Ooh, that's a big drop to accidentally fall down. It's one that keeps spewing stuff at me when I'm not even in line of sight. Unless I can see through wood. But I wouldn't give for vein miner right now. Okay, so apparently this is not the top. Ah, I fell. There we go. This is definitely a source of wood and a half. Okay, this is awesome. That's a lot of hangers. Okay, so we're going to take this. And try to see. Apparently it's never daytime over here. Actually, solving some of my problems, at least for now, would be do... I don't even need to take a log out. Oh, I finally found the guy. Oh, well, there's more than one. Shoot. Wow, I missed like four times in a row. Alright, finish it off with a sword so we can try to get the equipment. That was a bad idea, by the way. Because he's gonna run. And I can't see. I'm on fire and I can't see. There we go. Back over here before we fall. Not that we'll die, luckily. So, um. We're going to make, obviously, Blaze one first. But, base. Spider might help. And, Enderman, so we can see. There we go. Yeah. Oh, we walked into fire. Didn't even notice. Can I knock those back like gas? I can shoot them. I can dispel them. I wonder if all we would is fireproof or is it just because that fire can't shoot it? But that totem was a good idea. Take your totem knife with you everywhere, guys. So yeah, sulfur, which I don't get to get because it's way down there. Okay. So we got rid of those guys. And we can sort of see now. For as long as we have a totem anyway. I need two knives. I've said this before, but it would be nice to not have to swap. B 
be crazy to use. I have this uh, harvester thing that lets you take all the leaves off. Wow, dead trees. Okay. And that's that little square pyramid circle double whatever Stonehenge thing I saw. The reason I was coming here. But actually, I'm going to make sure I mark this on my map because this is awesome. Um, zoom in far. Follow player. Add marker. Giant weed wood tree. Something else is a good place to make a farm for those dryads. Although the spawn mechanics of anywhere around this tree might be annoying. Doesn't seem to be a particular reason to come up here. And it's not super dark anymore. I don't know if it finally hit daytime or something. Nope. I thought there'd be a chest or something super cool up here. Other than that one green glass stuff I found in the middle of the tree, nothing's up here. Um, put on base. Enderman. Put a blaze for the heck of it. Because we might just get this. And we'll put another one up there. Spider climb. Because that makes it easier. So yeah, we're on the top of the giant weed wood tree, guys. And I think this is pretty awesome. I don't see a reason for this tree other than that it looks cool and the dryad spawn, obviously. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you get saplings for this. Um... Yeah, it's something yeah, splashing really badly. I thought it was. We're on top, We're on top of the world, of the world though, guys. guys. This, is this is definitely cool. cool. Unfortunately, I didn't get a good look from it from the bottom. I don't know if that's supposed to be a dead tree or a tower. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. Um, you know. For no real plans after uh, the dirt thing fell through because it took too long to make compost. This is going to work. I mean, I like this tree. It looks awesome. It's a great mechanic. I wish I could grow one so I could build a base inside one almost. But other than that, it's awesome. And there's that one green gem stuff that was inside of it, the glass, just sort of randomly in this thing. It's like sap of it or something. But it was just one piece that I found out of all that I dug through. Nothing super special at the top. The dryads do spawn though. But yeah guys, catch you later. Just the guy signing out.